Hi, good morning everybody. This is uh, a quick uh, walkthrough for this new room login and co accountability. Oh, this is subscriber only. I will go through to it quickly. Okay, login is learn about the role accountability plays in login and incident response. Uh, okay, let's start. I'm doing it quickly. I have someone asked me to do it. So, uh, file created, email sent, or all type of login system. Security information, event management, usually the same. Real time login. Uh, these are another room that do these things. Uh, I, I forgot what's the name. Security summary benefit to feature the same. This is introductory room. Uh, a user being held accountable for their action as proven by logs is known what when you do this is like the email is uh, when you do the signate of the room is a no repudiation then we have now log ingestion and storage of course now we'll use in uh, uh, what is in Splunk sim a typical architecture with the three with the three compounds used for searching indexing and load balancing these components are commonly known as search head index and folder data integration you can guys read this why there are several ways to ingest in data the trend a few ways to data okay we're going down called storage israeli access that's why we call this is more in the cloud uh, let's see what component of the sim is responsible Responsible for searching data for searching data known as search head. Usually that's the one that responsible. Let's uh, How many years must all the the PCI this is like this is like credit card companies. Uh, the payment cards industry standard is one of the examples that require audit log to store a year. So basically, it's one year. If we go next, now, now the f now that some problems solve type of logs and data source, money log, automated log, other type of log. Uh, okay, this is again just general information. May not include any one log. So we have different type of log. Losses could also be collecting too much information. We'll have no lab here. We we'll see these things, you know. A change log is an example of what source change log change log is of money then an application log is example of what log source an application 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 log is an automated log uh, okay now using logs effectively there are many type of sims which is from and each feature is cap uh, and capability can impact how you can use logs effectively if you are not using specific feature sim okay a briefly enter the task for this one you might have multiple log type and you want to create a complex story of incident this is concept is forming a correlation so basically uh, combine a couple of logs and data and that's why the question is what is the process of using multiple logs type and sources as part of NC the response this is usually we call the correlation type of things now let's do this quick lab uh, we're using Splunk these mini rooms in TryHackMe to use from you can learn from it so let's play with the sun uh, when you start it like that the Splunk Enterprise I'm doing this quick in case someone need help or some big question why is taking long hold on a minute okay the question is uh, how many total event then you have the date and then okay this is Splunk, so you have data, also you can go to session reporting It's a bit slow for sort of a few you can say for example index and you can say we know if you want everything If I do search now you can see it's still zero because it's timed last 24 hours now let's say if I said all time all time it gave me total event of 12256 
you see there's a comma there so we need to keep the format and here it's been April 15 and 16 22 so if I go there time and you see uh, where is the time date range let's say between 22 April April 15 and to 22 April April 16 apply when we do now uh, you can see what left we have been it, most it means most of the event in this uh, index is basically between these two dates now how many NICUs appear in the data set okay we can see now here it gives us it gives us information we have user of four values we have this Alberto and this another so we have four users because you can get this information directly from and then the question is how many events by user James ok if we go here this is James we add James to the list here we have event we have 5 then what utility was used in the oldest event associated with James old events associated with James uh, Oh, did it. this is uh, 15, 6, 2, 6, 2, say all oh, 6, 2, 6, 1, this is the oldest. What the question is? What utility would use the oldest? Okay, let, let's see what what's happening here. You can see what he's using now. W mic W mic is executing this. Is executing this. Command line utility. W I'm a, I'm a command line utility, you can see. Is using this. So it's a W M I C. You see it's a WMA command line utility this is so that's what he's using and then what event are the follow, uh, followed process creation events associated with James if you can uh, look for network connection coming from the same user and the process uh, what what the question again what event ID follow the process creation we can play around here I think If we go here, we have event ID. We have two. Event ID one. Event ID three. And then uh, network connection. Can we play with the network connection or not? Command line. You can see also the command line it give you a WMAC. So it's using the utility there. Cont one. Add Alberto. He's created user Alberto with a password. PRZRD1 you can see there is there network somewhere here um, index 1 image host name destination destination IP Uh, is there no network here? I can go straight to ch checking them so oops go back go in the filter oh uh, the user ID thread ID source source IP1 The hint. Look for what uh, connections coming from the same user and the process. Uh, uh, 
No, I can just play around and say uh, destination. I thought there is something about network or something. Process ID. I know what's the name of the process. Uh, we can just play around in easy way. So we have the event ID. Let's. Yeah, I know it's number three. I mean, I don't like to you. Let's try number one. What did give me number one? You can see number one. Basically. Is net one user, so it is not this event. It's not the event that created this process. You can see. Is adding user no Alberto? So, if we go to uh, event number three, we have the the WMC so the uh, the I'm not sure a way to explain the better you can see uh, why is it process what is the event ID followed the process creation event process Follow with the process creation events associated with James. Um, this is user James. It's an event ID three is a creating person. It's number three. I know. It's not like I'm. I'm just trying to. Uh, to see if we can get it quicker without uh, if we the process You see, this is the last event we talked about it last time. Does it give us the process ID here? Uh, you just log ID, record number, event ID one. So it's not that one. So this is the last one. So it's so basic event. Uh, event ID one. One. Event ID three. So you mean the last one after after the the creation process? This is the. I already get my ticket. Tips. In any case, guys. Uh, I think that's that's one way to do it. If someone has a, a better a better solution to this part of the question, please let me know in the comment. Please, I don't want to consult. I have something to do now. I have work to do. But if someone has better better way to to filter this, please let me know. Thank you very much and have a good day.